Good afternoon. My name's Richard from the Old Timer Car Centre in Marrickville, New South Wales. Today, this is a pretty interesting car. We don't normally sell a W126 private import, but this was just too good to refuse. 132,000 kilometres from new, full MB Techs, not the fashion pack or the velour interior. And we have been told that it is a one owner from new, and the people brought it over here to Australia in 2007. When they arrived here, they brought the car as well. We believe the car has come from Hong Kong and it's got electric seats on both sides. I'm going to get inside because there's a bit of an aeroplane coming overhead. So have a look at the dashboard. There is no cracks in the dash. The timber's very, very nice. It's got an aftermarket stereo with a remote control and it does have a big uh, amp in the boot as well. The steering wheel's got heaps of grip and look at those dials. I mean, I'll get around the other side and I'll show you. The hood lining is absolutely gorgeous. The dials are nice and orange, ladies and gentlemen. It shows that this car has not been parked outside in the sun every day. The uh, Ambitex is superb. And as you might have seen in the photographs, you do get quite a few spare keys with this car. So our company called the Old Timer Centre specialises in old Mercs, and we would say that this is one of the very last of the real beautiful, proper Mercedes Benzes. You know, they really did have that clunking noise when you close the doors. They look fantastic, very distinctive as an old Benz, and um, this car is registered uh, in New South Wales only until recently. So we are going to be selling it either cheap without any registration, or we'll sell it including, you know, three months rego or something like that. So, as you can see, everything is nice and original. This car is extremely well priced. If it was an Australian delivered car with 130,000 kilometres, I can tell you right now we've been getting $10,000 for them. And this car shouldn't really be any different, ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't have a factory sunroof, so nothing's going to go wrong with the sunroof. No leaking or no rust and so forth. But again, I'm just going to get in the car. Here's the millions of keys and alarm things that we got with it. I'm just going to get in the car and have a look at this. We're going to look at the oil pressure, and we're going to look at the engine, and listen to, listen to just how... Look at that. Straight up. I mean, it is just running absolutely beautifully. Sounds fantastic. Horn works. Handbrake, and everything's just nice about it. It's not showing signs of rust inside of the doors. And being a 1990 model, ladies and gentlemen, it's what we call the Update Series. So you've got the four-speed automatic transmission with the lockout, sport setting and economy setting as well, alloy wheels as standard on the car, and let's just get back and have a look at it from over here. There are a few marks on the body, but they're only very minor, and they can be touched up quite easily. pretty noisy here near the airport. Now have a look at this. You put it in gear, we, and I'm just going to put it back into reverse now, and you'll see there, there is no major clunking. Let's put it back into drive, straight into the gear. So ladies and gentlemen, my name is Richard. We've got a company called the Old Timer Centre. We're located in Marrickville. We have about 75 cars. You'll see there's our shed there. Two mechanics that work for us full time. I'm just going to back this car into its spot. And we really do look forward to meeting you in person one day. Here we go. They're really easy to see out of the back of these cars, by the way. You don't need parking sensors or reversing cameras. They're rear-wheel drive, so they're very, very easy to steer. And, um, look, I would say that for $6,000, this is an extremely good buy. Please come and see us. We'd really like to take you for a nice test drive on this car and uh, talk to you some more about it. 101 to 103 Illawarra Road in Marrickville. And uh, we're open every day except for Sunday. I'm not going to use that alarm because I'm not sure whether it works. But it probably does. We just like to lock them up safe at night knowing that they're closed. Central locking's working, headlights aren't all milky, bumper bars are in good condition, and uh, thanks for taking the time to watch our movie.